What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the steps, tools, and products you need to be able to wash your car faster. Now for some people, washing their car is a therapeutic process. They love to just kind of zone out on the weekend and take care of the car. For others, washing your car is a chore. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get that chore done faster. So first things first, we're gonna to have to have a couple of products that'll kind of make our job go quicker. So first thing, Foam cannon. I like this because it allows me to blanket the vehicle in soap. It's allowing it to break down some of the dirt and things like that so I don't have to spend as much time agitating. I can get that done much quicker. Now obviously to go along with that we also need a pressure washer. In this video I'm going to be using the Active 2.0. That's their new one. Um, but really any pressure washer will work. Just make sure it's adjusted so you get a good ratio of PSI and GPM. Now next up we're going to need a stack of microfiber towels. You don't have to go crazy with the towels but I have some of the Creature Edgeless here and I also just have some Costco towels and that's actually what I'm gonna use in this video so you guys can see the process just with your budget friendly stuff. And finally, a specific dedicated drying towel. Now this one is the Gauntlet from the Rag Company. The reason I like this one so much, especially in this situation where I'm trying to move quickly, is it absorbs a ton of water and it's also kind of a hybrid. So it's got a twist loop finish and then it also has a plush finish so it really finishes out nicely and doesn't leave any streaking behind. And of course guys, I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description for you guys so you can get these products very, very easily. I have a few of them available on my personal website so I will link that as well as the links to them on Amazon. And as a reminder, if you like these types of videos, anything related to car detailing, tips, tricks, how-tos, and product reviews, please consider subscribing. And I'll also have a link down in the description for you guys to a little PDF that I made, just the detailing basics, how to get the job done quicker with less tools and, and uh, chemicals, just kind of the basics of what you need. So here's the car that I'm going to be using to show you guys the process. This is a 2022 Mercedes GLE 350, and yes, the vehicle is white which does help. But I wanna clarify guys, with these tools, products, and chemicals, even on a black car, even on a larger car, whatever else, it's going to speed up your time to do your wash significantly. So to get started though, I am going to pre-treat the wheels of this vehicle just with a specific wheel cleaner. In this case, I'm going to be using Brake R from Technician's Choice. I love this product. All you have to do is spray it on. It starts dissolving all the contamination, all the dirt, brake dust, all that kind of stuff that's on the wheel. And then I can simply rinse it away. So it makes my job much faster because I don't have to go in and agitate anything. Now for a basic quick wash, you may just want to skip this step. Just rinse them down with the hose and the, uh, and the soap from the foam cannon and you'll get a decent result, but this is actually going to clean them up completely. So I start with one wheel, work my way all the way around. As those are sitting to dwell, I go and grab my pressure washer, come back and start rinsing them off in the same pattern. So now I'll go ahead and do an initial rinse. Starting from the top of the vehicle and using gravity. So the water that's going on the top is already starting to come down the sides and starting to rinse stuff off and then I'll continually work it down. Now I don't always do a pre-rinse, but in this situation I will because I wanna make sure any of the kind of larger chunks of dirt are coming off the vehicle before I go in for a contact wash. So once that vehicle is rinsed down, I'll go ahead and grab my foam cannon and foam the whole vehicle down. In this situation, I usually start from the top and work my way down, but with foam, especially with this MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, it, it creates a nice, really thick foam, so it sticks to the panel. So if you wanna work from the bottom up, I don't, it's fine, no issue there. But when you're rinsing the car, always start from top and go down. Now that the whole car is filmed up, I'm gonna grab my microfibers out of my wash bucket. Now, I use microfibers instead of a wash mitt, just so that I don't have to constantly go back and rinse my wash mitt out. I can just grab a new towel and continue working. So I grab two right out of the bucket, and that'll be good for this vehicle. So the Contact wash is very important here. You wanna make sure to cover every inch, especially because I'm just using a nice pH neutral soap here. It's not doing a ton to remove dirt. It's, it's definitely helping, but the main purpose of that foam is to create the lubrication for this contact wash in this situation. Now once you've touched every point with your contact wash, grab your pressure washer and rinse it back down.
so now all the soap's been removed, all the dirt and everything's been rinsed away. Drying is a very, very key component to how fast you're able to get a car done, and having that dedicated drying towel makes all the difference in the world. I'm able to just flop it on, pull it off, and it finishes out perfectly. So I go around the whole vehicle, getting everything dried up and good to go. Now I'm also going over and drying the windows with this. Now windows are a big deal to me and I always want to leave them perfect. I don't want to leave any sort of streaks and it always kind of picks it up when you hit certain you know, sunlight. So I want to make sure that all the glass is perfect. So then I go and grab a few clean, dry microfiber towels and go back over the windows really quickly just to get everything to flash out and make it look perfect. And that's it guys, very, very simple, it's done. Now this is the step where I would go in and get more detailed. I'd open up the doors, wipe out the door jams. I'd go through with a blower, dry off the tires, apply a tire dressing. I'd blow out any of the tight spots in the vehicle so we don't get any drips. But this wash is all about speed. You wanna get the best result you can as fast as you can. Now with that said, all you really have to do guys is when you're gonna go drive the car, you're gonna be using the air that's, that's just blowing around you to blow out all the water from all the cracks. So all you have to do is just keep a couple microfibers in your car with a quick detail spray. I use ceramic detail spray from Technician's Choice. But as you drive your car, the next place you go to, get out, there's gonna be a couple drips, just a couple of spritz onto your microfiber towel, wipe those drips away, and you're good to go. So that's it guys, a very, very simple, fast process to wash your car. Again, 10 minutes or less here. This is a decent sized vehicle. It wasn't filthy, but it definitely had a ton of dirt on it. We got all that cleaned up, everything's looking perfect now, and we did it in under, under 10 minutes. So if you just take this simple process using the right tools, using gravity as you're rinsing it down to save time, just working more efficiently and faster, you'll be good to go and you'll get your car washed just like that. So that's it, I hope that helps. Again, all this stuff will be linked down in the description, but that's it for today's video, so please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, we'll see you on the next one.